Even the cleverest chef cannot make a dish without flour. Where is the flour? Where is your data? Data is invaluable because basically it connects society from birth to death. Two key pillars underpin every national digital transformation strategy. Digital infrastructure, of course, and data resources. From the gathering and the analysis to the security and the storage. Understanding data and, crucially, improving data management are central to boosting the digital productivity and developing the digital economy. But there are challenges around data governance for enterprises and governments alike. So what are they and how do we go about addressing them? Well, enter two experts to provide some answers. I'm Si Beijia. I'm the CEO of Odic Data Technology. Odic actually is a data governance company. Hi, my name is Augustine and I'm the Chief Technology Officer for the public service business in Huawei. So what I do basically is I help governments in their digital transformation journey. You've been in government service in the past, you've been in private sector executive consultancy. What's your view on the importance of the mastery of data governance? Oh, I, I think it's a massive, it's massive, it's a, it's a challenge uh, that we're seeing globally. And I don't think many governments have uh, actually mastered it, uh, as, as you were asking. Um, what we're seeing right now is that uh, many of agencies continue to retain data in their systems, in their data centers, and they haven't really, uh, what I would call, put the information together. And therefore, the governments, in many instances, lack that total insight. But more importantly, uh, many of the current systems itself are not designed to actually manage and to actually integrate massive amounts of data. So during a crisis, what we do notice is that the information is disparate, it's not being brought together, and you can't make very, very good decisions. To me, data is invaluable because basically it connects society from birth to death. Uh, unfortunately, many governments also tend to have the idea that all I need to do is just to digitize my data. Personally, from my consulting experience, I don't think that is sufficient. Because basically, if you do a conversion from your manual data to digital data, you haven't actually capitalized on a lot of opportunities that there are. I think you probably want to redesign your processes. You probably want to come up with a new operating model. Uh, you want to perhaps optimize how the different agencies are working together. So I think there is a lot of scope. Uh, there is a lot of opportunity. And I think it will be something that we really want to look at especially during government transformation. As we all know, in government, we have the hierarchical like departments. We have provincial level, national level, provincial level, city level, and the district level. Each level, we have IT department. Uh, that department have budgets, have staffs, have plans, have designs of their IT system. That means the data in government is even more fragmented. And in the fragmented world, how do you get a single view of your data. That's that's very challenging. So I think the first thing is that uh, we always say even the cleverest cleverest chef cannot make a dish without flour. So where is the flour? Where is your data? So uh, we need need a list of the ownership of the data, but that's not enough. Um, maybe it's enough for enterprise, but in government, uh, so you need a list of the rights the list of the responsibilities and the list of the interest for data, of data. So that means you also need a sharing list of your data. You need an open list of your data. Uh, you also maybe like training list of your data for uh, large language models that's far more complex. And the second uh, part is that uh, there is a saying that garbage in, garbage out. So is your flower, is your data a garbage or not? That means it takes very complex work to do data cleansing. And the cleansing must obey to the same standards. That means the top level design is very important. It should be distributive. It should be cross hierarchy. 
cross department, cross application, also cross business area. So that's the challenging part of the government data uh, tool. What I think is very important is that uh, you need to have legislation. You need to have policies wrapped around it for the projects to succeed. And I think it's also important that you have a very uh, proactive change management approach to things. It's important to have strong communication. It's important to keep everybody praised about what's happening so that everybody, all the agencies are in the journey together with you. They do not actually, they're not actually at the end of something, but rather they are part of the journey itself. And therefore, what you will see is a smoother transition. You're going to see a stronger buy-in and you're going to see success much, much earlier than if you design and then expect people to just embrace it. These digital transformations are clearly incredibly complex. It is about integrating systems and processes and applications. Within that, or underpinning that, what is the unique value proposition? And this is to both of you, really. The unique value proposition of the ORDAC Huawei partnership. Digital transformation is like kind of time travel drama. Because during the past 20 years or 15 years in China, mm -hmm. uh, we do the data governance practice in more than 28 provinces, more than 68 cities, more than 400 customers. So there are extensive practices of the data governance uh, inside China. In the Middle East and the North Africa, we have some practices too. So there is already quite rich experience. So for Huawei and the Audi, we are very complementable. Huawei is a leader for digital infrastructure. Wow, Audi, like Audi is uh, f focusing on data governance. So, so different expertises, but meshing together. Yeah, yeah, quite complementary. We are proven to have the experience and expertise to put together our technology and the industry understanding to give an end-to-end -end seamlessly solution for the digital transformation. And Augustine, I can see you nodding along to that in agreement. Yeah. We focus on what we are strongest at, and therefore by looking at the areas that we are good in, we can actually come together, work together, and potentially put together a best-in-class solution to support the governments in the transformation. And as, as what has been said, I think this is where the Huawei strength comes in. We are very strong in connectivity. We have very good uh, data solutions. We have our Huawei cloud. Naturally, we therefore should play a role in coming what we call the digital uh, infrastructure foundation for every customer's, for every government's transformation journey. And I, I think together, we want to look forward to more opportunities. Uh, we want to really work with more governments to help them in the transformation and of course, to usher in what we we'll call a new era of uh, intelligent governance. Well, there's obviously huge potential, huge opportunities ahead, but good luck on the partnership ahead. And thank you very much for coming in. Very good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Pleasure. Thanks. Thanks.